One cold night in Denmark, a little boy named Benjamin had just returned home with his mother, Anna. But instead of immediately resting, Anna looked scared because someone suddenly called her. Not long after, the police came and before the police searched the house, Anna told Benjamin to hide in the cupboard. She also added that Benjamin shouldn't come out until she saved him. Benjamin complied and he immediately hid, while his mother left the house. While Benjamin was in the cupboard, he saw two figures of men who appeared to be looking for something. Benjamin then heard his mother's voice screaming from outside, and it was said that she was on the bridge. At that moment, the two men immediately left the house, but Benjamin had time to see one of the men wearing a watch and a ring. Six years later, Benjamin was a 13-year-old teenager. Since his mother left him, Benjamin lives at the Soul Garden Orphanage led by a man named Ahmed. During his time at the orphanage, Benjamin secretly always misses his mother, but he pretends to be fine and is busy with his hobby, tinkering with computers. Benjamin is actually a young hacker who has an online friend named Coast. That morning, Benjamin had to go to school immediately because he would take the national examination. Secretly, several of Benjamin's friends paid him to hack their scores on the exam. Even though this was cheating, Benjamin didn't care. The important thing was that he got pocket money. However, it turned out that something was different that morning. There was a new girl named Savannah. Benjamin's friends said that Savannah was a problematic kid because she had a lot of bad records at the previous orphanage. But there was something even more strange because Savannah was accompanied by her nanny, Ingrid. Here, Ingrid told Ahmed that she was Benjamin's new guardian. As soon as he arrived at school, Benjamin immediately got ready to take the exam. Just as usual, Benjamin handed over his cell phone to his teacher and then turned on the laptop. The teacher who was supervising the test also said that the cell phones that were collected had to be turned off, but Benjamin deliberately ignored this rule because he had another strategy. Secretly, Benjamin had another cell phone and called his cell phone that was collected, so his cell phone rang and the teacher told Benjamin to turn it off. And here, Benjamin inserted a USB which he could use to hack his teacher's laptop. Then, when the teacher's laptop was connected to Benjamin's laptop, Benjamin immediately changed the grades of his friends who had paid him. Savannah, who had just found out about this, was amazed by what Benjamin had done. So when he finished the exam, Benjamin just had to receive payment from his friends. Benjamin immediately put the money in his bag when suddenly, Savannah approached him. After seeing Benjamin hacking the national test, Savannah asked Benjamin to delete her bad record in the government database so she could get a foster family easily. At first, Benjamin objected. But before he could answer, Benjamin was suddenly called to the teacher's room. It turned out that one week earlier, the Department of Defense National Intelligence accidentally found Anna, Benjamin's mother, who six years ago was declared deceased. Therefore, Larson, the head of the department, immediately looked for Anna's only son to make sure that person was really Anna. That afternoon, Larson ordered his subordinate, Peter, to meet with Benjamin. And to make this matter easier, Larson asked Peter to cooperate with the police. So a few moments later, Peter, as a representative from the Department of Defense, came to Benjamin's school with Falcon. Falcon is a cyber policeman who also wants to meet Benjamin. At first, Benjamin was afraid because he thought that he would be arrested by the police for hacking the national test scores. But that assumption was wrong because Peter actually asked Benjamin about Anna. Benjamin, who believed that his mother had died all this time, immediately felt shocked. And after observing Peter for a longer time, Benjamin realized that he was the man wearing a watch and ring who had been chasing his mother. Therefore, Benjamin wanted to know about his mother's affairs with the government. He secretly installed a USB hacker to find out these things. And to protect himself, Benjamin finally lied that the woman in the video was not his mother, even though we actually don't know yet. So after hearing Benjamin's answer, Peter and Falcon went back. But before they went home, Falcon asked Peter about a shadowy organization called Patriots, who reportedly wanted to change the Constitution. Falcon also heard that one of the Patriot leaders was Larson, Peter's boss. But Peter actually laughed at Falcon. He thought that this organization called Patriot was just a rumor that didn't need to be believed. Meanwhile, Benjamin was currently in the back of Peter's car installing a cell phone for hacking Peter's gadget. Benjamin was almost caught, but luckily, Savannah managed to divert Peter's attention so that Benjamin was safe. Thanks to Savannah's help, Benjamin finally accepted Savannah's request to delete her bad records. But before that, Benjamin wanted to track down his mother first. He then took Savannah to an internet cafe owned by Muggy. There, Benjamin asked Savannah for help to divert Mug's attention so he wouldn't get caught hacking someone's gadget. Savannah complied and she then asked Mug to talk, while Benjamin managed to hack Peter's gadget and found a file called Zeus. Benjamin then downloaded the file because he remembered that Zeus's program was related to his mother. But Larson discovered Benjamin's action, so within a short time, Larson ordered his men to look for Benjamin's location. And when they found the location, Larson immediately sent out his troops to arrest Benjamin. 
Meanwhile, Benjamin finally found out that the special forces were chasing him because he was actually hacking military defense data. Therefore, he thought quickly so he could escape from the internet cafe. So when the police came, they didn't immediately attack Benjamin. They came quietly and even told Mug to remain silent. But when they walked towards the computer which was being used by Benjamin just now, it turned out that the boy had already left. Benjamin and Savannah ran through the building near the internet cafe. They escaped through the back door until they finally managed to trick the police who were on guard outside. After hiding for a while, Benjamin and Savannah were finally able to escape safely. After walking away from the internet cafe, Benjamin didn't forget to ask for Savannah's cell phone and threw it away. He also threw away his own cell phone. He immediately broke the cell phones on the side of the road. He did this to clear his tracks and avoid being chased by the police. And at this critical moment, Savannah suddenly relapsed and it turned out that she suffered asthma. Everywhere, she always carried an inhaler to help her because of shortness of breath. Here, Benjamin felt sorry for her so he thought that they should just go home and rest. And then by chance, they watched the news on television which broadcast that they were now wanted. Therefore, Benjamin also had to think about another place and Savannah took Benjamin to Ingrid's house. Finally that night, they were at Ingrid's house and Benjamin told Ingrid all the incidents he had just experienced. He also told her that he wanted to look for his missing mother, because it turned out that the police had found evidence that his mother was still alive. However, because it was late that night, Ingrid told them to go to sleep. But of course, Benjamin couldn't sleep. Instead, he opened his laptop again and checked his use file. The file turned out to contain a documentary video of Anna, who was a scientist. Through this video, Benjamin found out that his mother designed a program called Zeus. This program is used to manipulate the human brain so that it can influence the human's decisions. However, one thing that Benjamin just found out through the video was that Peter was also there. So for now, Benjamin can only conclude that his mother and Peter already know each other for a long time. The next morning, Benjamin woke up first and then told Ingrid about his mother. Benjamin didn't understand why his mother had the heart to leave him and even lied to him. Ingrid also gave Benjamin good advice. If only his mother was still alive, she would definitely think of any way to stay connected with her child. It turns out Ingrid is also a mother who has lost her child due to military service. Ingrid's advice made Benjamin remember his online friend, Ghost. Benjamin then immediately contacted Ghost. He wanted to confirm whether the ghost who had accompanied him all this time was his mother. And quickly, that person asked Benjamin to meet immediately. However, Benjamin had to go alone because no one could be trusted. Unfortunately, Benjamin ignored this. He told Ingrid and Savannah that he wanted to meet his mother at the train station. Ingrid told them to go immediately because at this time, the police were looking for them. Benjamin and Savannah went straight to the station. They tried to find Anna among the many people there. But when they were looking for Anna, Benjamin just realized that they were also being chased by the police. He immediately asked Savannah to quickly run away. The policeman who previously met Benjamin at the school, Falcon, actually almost arrested Benjamin. However, Benjamin managed to run away. Falcon was desperate, so he begged Benjamin to give him a chance to talk. Currently, Falcon admits that he wants to save Benjamin because there are many people who Benjamin couldn't believe. But for now, Benjamin doesn't want to trust Falcon. Benjamin instead sees a car with a picture of a pirate ship that always follows him wherever he goes. And from there, Benjamin is sure that the car is a messenger from his mother. Benjamin then approaches the car, but because Benjamin brought a friend, his mother's men had to ask for permission first. Because it was a very urgent time and Falcon was also chasing them. Finally, Savannah was allowed to come with them. A few moments later, they finally arrived at a boat that was docked in the middle of the pier. Benjamin then was welcomed by Ahmed, his former caretaker. Without further ado, Benjamin immediately asked where his mother was. Am told Benjamin to get into the boat and wait until finally, Benjamin's mother came and saw him. But instead of being happy because he could meet his mother, Benjamin felt angry. He was angry because his mother had lied even though in fact she was still alive. In the end, Anna wanted to show Benjamin something, but she asked her men to check Savannah first. Benjamin realized that his mother was suspicious of Savannah, so he insisted that Savannah was his friend. However, Anna didn't care. She had to stay alert before it was too late. So now, when Benjamin was alone with his mother, he immediately asked about the Zeus program created by his mother. Anna then explained that this program was her most sophisticated design. With this brain manipulation program, Anna wanted to eradicate bad human habits so that they will become better human beings. Unfortunately, this program was then targeted by many organizations. Anna didn't want the program to be misused by certain communities, so she chose to run away and even left Benjamin. Through this explanation, Benjamin finally understood that his mother's life was not easy either. Then there was one more thing that made Benjamin curious about. Anna's closeness to Peter. Then Anna explained that they had worked together at the Department of Defense. 
Then, when Anna was with Benjamin, Savannah secretly took her asthma medicine, which turned out to be a secret GPS. The GPS finally sent a signal and finally Larson knew Benjamin's location. So it didn't take long for Larson to immediately mobilize his troops to arrest Anna. Previously, Savannah's betrayal had not been discovered yet. Ahmed concluded that there was no need to suspect Savannah. But a moment later, Anna saw via CCTV that many troops were about to arrest her. That's when she realized that Savannah was the one who revealed their location. Therefore, Anna told Benjamin to leave because she knew that those people only wanted to arrest Anna. So Benjamin was forced to separate from his mother again. He ran away with Ahmed and watched as his mother was arrested by military forces. Elsewhere, the Department of Defense actually started to split because Larson finally admitted that he was part of the Patriots. Peter was shocked because all this time he thought that the Patriots were just rumors. And because Anna had been found, Larson ordered all his troops to deal with Anna. Meanwhile, Savannah was actually not a bad kid. She was forced to betray Benjamin because she was told by Ingrid, who was not a caregiver. Ingrid was part of the Patriot organization and deliberately sent Savannah to approach Benjamin. Savannah's mission was to find Anna. So when Savannah's mission was successful, Ingrid kept her promise to erase Savannah's bad record from the government database. A few moments later, Anna was arrested by Larson, and she was asked to complete the ZUS program, which would be used to manipulate high-ranking officials in the government parliament. This was what Anna was afraid of. She didn't want those people to misuse the technology she created. At the same time, Benjamin finally returned to his mother's ship. There, Savannah met him and apologized. Benjamin felt angry, but Savannah said that they could find Benjamin's mother, even though Savannah didn't know her location. However, they must have another way because after Savannah realized that Ingrid wasn't a good person, she knows that now they have to take revenge. Savannah then asked Benjamin to go online somewhere. This is intended to lure the Patriot troops, so that they arrest Benjamin, so that Benjamin can meet his mother. Meanwhile, Savannah asked her school friends for help to contact Falcon, because she knew that currently, Falcon was also trying to take down the Patriot organization. Anna's plan was going well for now. Benjamin was captured and he was able to meet Anna. Here, Anna panicked when Benjamin was taken to that place. So before Benjamin was manipulated by the program, Anna was forced to complete the Zeus program she made before the parliament meeting ended. Apart from that, Savannah also tried to ruin Larson's plan. She installed a USB from outside the building, but failed. Savannah was arrested and ended up being tied up in that place. So now they only have the final plan. While they are all waiting for the Zeus program completed, Benjamin asked Peter for help to install a USB which would break the program. At first, Peter didn't understand. But when Benjamin mentioned Peter's closeness to Anna, Peter was finally willing to help him. There, Ingrid volunteered to manipulate Benjamin. But because the Zeus program had been broken by Benjamin, what happened was just the contrary. On the contrary, after Ingrid took part in the Zeus program, she actually emerged as a new person, as a social worker. Her character was totally changed and now she's actually fighting against Larson. But the damage caused by Benjamin made his computer almost explode. Everyone tried to escape, but Anna was still trying to delete the program so that no one would abuse it. Benjamin wanted to help his mother, but Larson caught him and warned him that this was not over, because the Patriot organization had spread throughout the world. Benjamin wanted to ignore Larson until finally the computer actually exploded and was finally destroyed. But fortunately, Benjamin was able to survive and his mother was really happy. She also felt proud of her son, who turned out to be a genius and thought of fighting against Larson. Not only was his brain a genius, Benjamin's heart was also pure. Not long after that, Falcon arrived. Peter immediately met him and apologized for underestimating Falcon's theory regarding the Patriots organization. Now, Peter has proven that the Patriot organization really exists and even until this incident occurred, Peter was sure that the Patriot members still exist in many places. Meanwhile, Benjamin apologized to Savannah because he had misunderstood her. Savannah also feels guilty for betraying Benjamin. After all of her bad records have been erased, Savannah will look for a new foster family. To repay Savannah's kindness, Benjamin promises to help her find a good adoptive family.